Hi there everyone, it's currently the evening of the 29th going into the 30th of September 2012. Rob here with your Typhoon Jellowat update. The storm is currently over the Amani Islands, moving off towards the northeast, but earlier on today it did run through Okinawa. As you can see, it's actually moving away from that island right now. This is some footage coming out of Okinawa, specifically the city of Naha, taken by videographer James Reynolds, and you can see a lot of debris flying around here. It was very dangerous earlier on today. Thankfully, I have seen zero reports of any fatalities out here, but still upwards of 50 injuries have been reported coming out of hospitals in Okinawa. Winds actually maxed out on some of the islands just towards the west of Okinawa there. Uh, in Miyakojima, 212 km per hour winds were recorded late last night oh, through the overnight hours. Also, 153 km per hour sustained winds were recorded this morning. Still, that's right about 83 knots. Flights have been canceled throughout this area. This footage is just one of many pictures and videos continuing the stream through here. But now, just back to the satellite picture, it's heading off towards Kagoshima, Kyushu. Shikoku, and then the Key Peninsula is likely going to be seeing a landfall of this storm system as it continues to rush off there towards the northeast. And with it, it'll be continuing to bring these winds upwards of 90 gusting to 110 knots is what the current strength is. It can suspect it is slightly weakened before making a landfall here along mainland Japan, but still, it's going to be a very strong storm system. Now, what we can see here on this imagery is that it is starting to get this dry air inflow coming in from the west. Some of the main reasons for that is one, due to an increase in vertical wind shear. Let's pull up the shear chart here and you can see coming in from the west upwards of 60 and 70 knots of shear along the northern peripheries of this storm system, but also that drier inflow is going to be due to this uh, high pressure coming in from the west behind it. This is actually one of those things that start to usher in the northeast monsoon. Those strong northerly winds come rushing in, cooling down the temperatures, plenty of dry air, and then cold surges. This particular one likely will not have that cold surge, but this is really some stuff that starts to set up that ushering in of the Siberian high. That's on a different note, but still, the storm is continuing to rush across the Amani Islands, and besides the fact that it is getting sheared up here along the northern periphery, it's still maintaining that fairly decent cyclonic circulation around the core of the system. If we pull up the infrared imagery, you can actually still see a very faint eye near the beginning of the frames here. And pulling out the uh, radar out of Amani, you can also see that clear eye wall along the northern and west western peripheries, but really it is continuing to fall apart here it still has that strong typhoon intensity but nothing it was about 24 hours ago besides that fact though all these bands you see coming in from the north especially once they hit these islands they do tend to get sheared up that shear starts to cause some vertical rotation in the atmosphere i would not be surprised if we see some reports of water spouts or even tornadoes out of a lot of these rain bands as it continues to push off towards the north and plus on top of that Look at these areas, upwards of 50 to 80 millimeters in some of these bands here indicated by the radar imagery out of Japan. So that's going to be causing some flooding. Actually, I saw a report out of Okinawa, nearly 575 millimeters in the past 24 hours. Absolutely intense and incredible amount of rain coming out of the storm system. Good news is that down there towards the south, clearer skies are setting in. Cleanup is definitely on its way. It would actually remain inside at least through Sunday and let crews continue to clean up there. And as the storm continues to push off towards the north, definitely do want to be taking shelter across Kyushu and Shikoku, and then eventually around the Key Peninsula and over towards Nagoya. Now, this is from the Joint Typhoon Warning Center out of Pearl Harbor. They currently also have the sustained winds, actually same as JMA, uh, 90 gusting up to 110 knots. And you do expect it to make a landfall also by Sunday evening, just towards the east of the Key Peninsula, Nagoya specifically, and then moving over the Kanto Plain, still with typhoon, tropical storm, excuse me, strength winds, typhoon strength gust. So with that said, you don't want to take in anything from outside. I have laundry outside drying right now. I'm going to bring it in. That is just a general conception for most people out here. But also, anything that very well could get picked up and thrown about. Bikes outside in their bike racks. Make sure they're locked or tied down. Down. That is just one thing. Now let's take a look at JMA's forecast from the uh, weather center here and they also show a landfall just towards the east of the Key Peninsula right around Nagoya so very similar to a joint typhoon warning center. Makes me very happy actually to see this. It doesn't seem like whenever storms are pointing in this general direction. The agencies from what I have seen from my personal experience tend to differ from the exact amount of landfall here. Uh, JTWC typically pointing more towards the bases around the Kanto Plain, but right now they both seem exactly aligned on this and also intensity wise as well. 
Definitely tropical storm strength winds. Those gust upwards of typhoon strength very well could be experienced across the Kanto region going through Sunday evening. I myself plan on heading out towards the uh, end of Kanagawa Prefecture out here tomorrow, maybe around the Kamakura area, so you might see me out there trying to get some video of the waves. I plan on heading back here before the definite onset of those strong winds. I don't really want to be caught out there and have a train get delayed uh, or canceled and really just get stuck in one of these stronger storms. And I do recommend that for everybody else. Really try to get back inside before the evening hours there on Sunday, before the main onset of the wind. You're currently looking at the model consensus, so they all really do end up having the storm go just around the key peninsula, Nagoya area, and then moving over Tokyo. Some of them start to fade out here, but I do think this is just it really getting sheared up and going extra tropical, and it's a different way the models are handling it. But overall, the storm is going to continue to head off towards the north, affecting our Hokkaido. Definitely going to be seeing some gale force winds and heavy rains with this as well. And also, uh, waves upwards about 12 meters high could be seen. Now, for example, let's take a look at the current wave analysis from the Japan Meteorological Agency. Now, this is an analysis, not an actual model outlook, in about 8 meters near the center of the circulation. Then if we go out about 24 hours, you can see these waves kicking up right around 10 meters high. So absolutely intense and strong waves possibly coming ashore with the storm system as it continues to rush towards the north. But that is just a general outlook on the storm right now. I do hope that it helps you out here across portions of Japan as you continue to watch this throughout the remainder of your Saturday into Sunday and even Monday. Recovery efforts still in place across portions of the southwestern Japanese islands as well. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please post them in the comment box below. Or also, you can follow me on Facebook and Twitter at Robert Spetta, or on the website at Western Pacific Weather on Facebook and Twitter, or just email me at Robert Spetta at Western Pacific Weather.com. Also, do want to remind you, I do not say this enough, I am not an official source by any means. Please continue to check in with the Japan Meteorological Agency if you are currently being affected by the storm. They are the official WMO World Meteorological Organization out here for the Western Pacific on warning on typhoon. So stay safe out there and have a great day. Bye.